Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. The Captain Captain Hawk Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. Movies, TV, Sports, Flicks. The Captain Captain Hawk Flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talk Slicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, a.k.a. Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome to the podcast, podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you see on a tube or screen. I like to get in here and give my unique perspective, because after 46 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a unique perspective about these movies, TV, sports, or flicks. I didn't to tell you about it, because just maybe... Just maybe you care. And according to the stats, looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to the UAE. Got some plays over in the UAE this past week. Gracias, gratitude, total rabba. And UAE, just last week I saw MMA pay-per-view that was put on over there with various warriors from around that region of the world. Some very tough individuals battling in the cage So awesome to see that world is also doing the practice of MMA, the art of MMA. Very cool. Very cool show. I wouldn't mind going over there, hanging out a little bit. looks like a beautiful place. So thanks for listening. Appreciate it. It's just FYI. I'm back in the day with school to be a radio DJ. But I never got a job. I think what it was is I just didn't have the belief. If I just would have believed, then I could have achieved. But I didn't. So I never became a radio DJ, but that allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the Matrix. It's up to debate. It might be true. It might not be true. But I said it on the internet. So it's got to be true, right? Because everything on the internet is facts, not facts, false, truth. I don't even know. I didn't make the internet. Somebody else did. Let them figure it out. So when you're online, be mindful, be aware. Just watch out. So anyways, I could ramble here all day, but I won't. Let's get right to the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, are you a globe trotter? Do you circumnavigate the globe? If you do this, you probably have a passport, son. I suspect you probably have one. Unless you're doing some weird traveling I don't know about. But generally, to travel around the globe, a passport is needed, right? So you probably have one if you travel the globe. If you're a worldwide navigator traveling the globe. If you got a passport, you might want to protect it, make it look cool, add a little bit of pizzazz to your passport. So we got some passport holders over at the Existing Fiction Zazzle store. Very cool patterns on them. Make your passport stand out, look cool. Very cool patterns, like I said. So check it out. I'll put the link to the passport holders below. And you can circumnavigate the world in style with a cool passport holder. So check the link. I'll put it below. Now let's get on the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back again. And I thought I might not make it back. <laughs> the captain encountered some adversity. And like, this is it for me. I'm done. It's over. It's a rap game over. Stop quitting. No mas. I'm tapping out. <laughs> Not quite. I'm going to keep showing up. I got to. It's my ninja way. It's what I do. It's how I roll. It's how I get down. It's just what I do. It's my thing. Because like I said, I can't quit you. I can't quit you. I love you so much. You guys are so awesome. You're so awesome out there. All you cool peeps. They like talk about movies, TV, sports, and flicks. Like to hear me just chat in my unique, interesting way. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. And I just got done working out, training, did some elliptical, did some bag work, soaked in the Epsom salt bath, right? And then after all that, had a bowl of ramen noodles. Like Naruto, son. I'm like Naruto having ramen. Where the ramen at? Give me some ramen. I have not had ramen in like 20 years, maybe 15 years. It's been a long time since I've had ramen. And let me tell you guys something. They're fantastic. <laughs> I forgot how good ramen noodles tasted. Now, you know the captain eats healthy. I got a healthy lifestyle, healthy diet. But every now and then, have a little something, a little something special just every now and then. So I had some ramen noodles. Oh, they're so good. I can can taste them right now. 
So I did that. That was my exciting day. That was what I'm doing. That's why I roll. So I get down. That's my thing. That's what I do. You might be like, let's be captain. It's not very exciting. But when you become 46 years old, your definition of excitement shifts and changes a tad bit. It comes with the territory. As you get older, your definition of excitement changes. So for me at 46, this is a day of excitement. Yep, so that's what I did. So let's get right into what I'm going to talk about this week. So over the past week, I was scrolling the phones, the apps, TV, all these things, man. And I kind of just got fixated on YouTube. You know, I love YouTube. YouTube's so awesome. But those cool recommendations. And this week, I just got a lot of recommendations of people telling me stuff, right? Just random people with their phone sitting in a chair or sitting outside or sitting in a car or just sitting somewhere just telling me stuff, different things about different ideas, different theories, different things, just telling me just a random person. And it's interesting enough, they got tons of views. And wait, real quick, what's very interesting it's just some random person with like a phone talking into it, talking about stuff. Gets like huge amount of numbers as far as, as the views, right? I've talked about this before. There's well-produced videos by well-funded companies out there. And some of these people with just their phone talking are like matching that. I find that very interesting. I find that very interesting that, that they can pull the same amount of views. These polished well-produced productions can produce. I'm not sure what that even, what does that even say? What does that even, what does that even mean? Does that, what does that say about society? I don't even know what it means or what it says. I haven't given enough thoughts, but I find it very interesting. So a lot of these people are talking about different things, just talking, and they don't have any charts. They don't have any data. <laughs> they don't have any numbers. They're just talking, saying these things about certain subjects, but this is how it is. It's like this. Some of them did cite some books as reference. Some of them did use some data. But generally, they're just talking, right? Big amount of views. And so, if you're out there watching these videos, like, do you, do you, do you, how do you determine what they're saying is correct or not, right? How do you do that? Now, me being the way I am, I will watch these videos, but it's going to take just more than one some person just telling me a little something on a video, on a phone, for me to fully endorse this belief system or ideas or theories or whatever they're talking about, right? Because I just noticed there's a lot of people telling a lot of different stuff about a lot of different things all over the place. And this is just English-speaking stuff. This is just American Western stuff. And I'm sure it's the same way with all these other countries and all these other languages of just people talking, telling ideas, beliefs, and theories all over the place. It's a massive amount. And when I get these big views, I'm thinking like, if there's just random people just telling people stuff. If you're, if you're not as, if you're more of a naive individual, you might hear some of these things and take them as like absolute truths. Like truths, like this is true, I believe this, this guy on YouTube or this lady on YouTube or this dude on Twitter or this whatever here, over here on Facebook, whatever, said this, it must be true, right? It's very interesting. It's very weird, very interesting. You know, I, I, I saw I was watching this week. I just, and, and, more, and when I'm watching too, I'm not really watching for the information. When I'm watching these videos, I'm watching to see how they talk, how their eyes move, body movements. Just, just their presentation. I'm studying the presentation more than information given. You know, but I'm trying to see why some of these individuals have such big numbers. You know, what is it about the video... As far as the presentation, is it, so is it the not is it the information in the videos? Is it the way the person presents the information? Is it how they look? You know what, what exactly is getting these big numbers on some of these videos? Because like I said, they're not some of these are not well produced, and this is not meant as a diss. It's not meant as a diss at all. You know what I mean? It's not meant as it's, it's no disrespect. But it's just interesting that I seen some of these videos over the last week, and maybe actually a couple weeks. And just couldn't really understand how the numbers views are so high. You know what I mean? Because to me, it wouldn't seem like it would garner that kind of viewership. So really, it had me wondering as I watched these videos the last few weeks. Like, what exactly about the video, whatever they're talking about, is getting the big numbers 
of, uh, of views? That's a very, very interesting question to really think about. So I told you guys on the podcast, I sit around and I just think about things. Like I just spend like an, I spent early an hour like thinking and plotting my next five years, right? Honestly, I'm sitting around, I'm brainstorming, I'm thinking about what's the true trajectory of my life, right? Did that for a while. And then I sat around, you know, uh, thinking about world affairs, just pondering that. Thinking about space, thinking about meditation, thinking about going deep into mind. Just sitting for, you know, an hour, just thinking about things, right? And so when I was doing that, this came up as well. I think I've watched these videos for the last couple of weeks. You know, what, what exactly is getting this big views? How is it? What is it? What is it? Why? You know, it's very, very interesting questions. I should have been a scientist. <laughs> I should have been a social scientist or something. I don't even know, but I find it very interesting. These are just random things I think about, right? You know, you, you, know, you guys were probably talking about slaps last week. A lot of people were talking about slaps. That's a slap talk last week. You know what I'm talking about. You know, I saw that and heard about it, but I wasn't really fixated on that. I was kind of thinking about, like, why are these views so high? And what is it about these videos are bringing these views up, right? It's just very, very interesting situation we're in. So I did that. And additionally... The reason I'm talking about the podcast this week, because to be completely honest, I have watched a lot of tube, a lot of things I normally watched, but there really wasn't nothing in those cre- creations that, that really sparked any major uh, threads to pull on or anything to really discuss thoroughly on here. Right? If, I, if, I, if I'm going to talk about a show that I've already talked about before, I want to try to bring something new to the table that I had not in the past. I wanted to keep rehashing the same thing. And so I watched the regulars. I watched the Flash. I like the Flash. Flash is good. I watched that. Cool. And I saw SWAT. And I saw some other favorite shows. I saw Bill Maher for the weekend. I watched these. But there's really nothing new, you know, coming to the table. Actually, you know what? Bill Maher, the guy that does uh, that show on HBO, uh, Real Talk. It is Real Talk. A political show. He's got a podcast on YouTube where he just sits around and talks. I talk about people just talking. He does the same thing. He's sitting around with a person, just talking, getting drunk, talking. Something about videos and people talking. People just love them. I have the same way. To be completely honest, I'm kind of getting a little burnt out on sitting around watching people talking. It's, I'm just kind of burnt out. I feel, I feel like I've heard everything, right? I mean, I've been on this, this, I've been watching YouTube for quite some time, and I just feel like I've heard all there is to be heard. <laughs> it's, it's very strange. So, anyways. Yeah, this is a, it's kind of a weird one, of course. Sometimes I go there. You know how it goes. You know how the captain gets down. So thanks for joining me. Hopefully this somehow expanded your mind in some way. Allow you to go to new levels of thinking. Or spark some kind of idea. Or spark questions. Right? A lot of these podcasts, whatever I'm talking about, no matter what I'm talking about, are done in a way that hopefully gets you just to think a little deeper about something. Whatever it is, maybe there's a scene in a TV show, they show an a, a item or a food or there's a city they go to or there's something that just a something, something in the show. Maybe I talk about it. Maybe you hear that like, huh, you know, you know, I heard he talked about that. Let me look that, let me dig into that a little deeper, right? That's what, that's what I'm hoping comes from these podcasts, just to expand that mind just a little bit more. It's a little bit more than it was before. If you leave this podcast expanded your mind just a tad bit more pushing a little bit more you've grown a little bit more just from talking about movies tv sports and flicks i know it's crazy then 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 i feel that we have done something of value here so that is the goal that is the mission that's what i'm doing on a weekly basis we trying to level up the mind the body the spirit reach new levels new plateaus boldly go where no human being has gone before all from talking about Movies, TV, sports, and flicks. And anything else you can see on the tube. So anyways, thanks for joining me on this weird one. I appreciate the listens. Gracias, gratitude. And until next time, we'll see you. Live long and prosper. Spock. Until next time, it's the Captain Peace. The Captain Captain Talks Talks. Flicks. Flicks.